Alright, it's me again here, and I'm with my, um, Great Kaiju deck. Um, <clears throat> yes, I think I did one a little bit ago, but, um, this weekend, this last weekend, I, um, went to my local comic book store with this deck, and I took sixth place. Yeah, I know, it's not that well, it's not good as, like, top four, but... Still, it's pretty good for a deck that's not so good. So yeah. Let's get straight into the deck profile. What we do is we play, um... Double Slime. Let me play Double Slime because, um... He can lead to some really cloggy hands if you draw him. And we mainly just want him in the graveyard because his, act his effect can be activated in the graveyard. And that's also the only reason we run to because it's a fucking reactivated in graveyard, so yeah. I guess if you wanted to um you could run something I'll get into a little bit later. You probably already know what you could run, but yeah. Then onto our Gradle setup. Obviously it's like every other Gradle setup in the game today. Triple of each of these guys. Triple Eagle, uh, Triple Cobra, and Triple Alligator. Mainly because, um, it's just a standard lineup. Oh yeah, and sorry I'm positioned weirdly. I'm not at my house, I'm at my, uh, I'm visiting my mom. And, yeah, uh, my, the thing I used to record... I'm on the couch, and the couch doesn't have much space, so yeah. And yes, um, this is my kaiju lineup. I am slowly working on it. I'm trying to get the um, Star Destroyer kaiju. Um, but I just don't know where I can get one, but yeah. We play uh, Triple Demoseal because he's one of the best ones. Because his ability to remove two banish... Negate Banish is always nice. Say your opponent just, like, you attack Gam. Usually when you have Gam on field, your opponent's not going to do anything because you don't want to lose any of their stuff. So, Gamma Seal is awesome. And besides, he has a really big booty for defense. They play, uh, Double Radiant. I really like Radiant. He's one of my favorites. Mainly because of his ability to spawn tokens. So you can always use cards that, like, you can treat the token, get pluses off that, then you can just spawn another token, which is always nice. So, yeah. I'll play uh, Double Doggeran. He's pretty good. So, yeah. That's my kaiju lineup. Like I said, I know it's pathetic. But, I'd really advise just, like, popping one of these guys down to one, and running triple, uh, Star Destroyer. Yes, that would bring the deck limit over a bunch, but I don't care. Star Destroyer is just so needed. And, onto the spells we play, uh, triple impact. Um, obviously impact is, uh, really good. You should go, um... Because it's always a free search at the end of the turn if you don't use its first effect. And its first effect is really good if you have an alligator and your opponent has a really big monster that's kind of problematic. Um, it also works if you give your... Because what you can do is you can trip your opponent's problematic monster for um, any of the kaijus. Um... Uh, activate impact, normal summon gate alligator, impact destroy alligator, destroy and your other opponent's cards. Alligator equips to the kaiju that you gave them. You can then attack. See, so, yeah. um, triple impact. That's also search at the end phase. I already said that, but yeah, this this really needed. Then we play obviously triple Kyoto waterfront. Since we're playing uh, Triple Kyoto Waterfront, um, 
this card is just amazing. Because it's all, as long as there's three counters on it, there's always a free kaiju search. And the best part is that when you search, you don't, for the kaiju, you don't remove the counters. So, yeah. It's always just good. Tree kaiju. And it, it protects itself from destruction, so yeah. I play, uh, two MST. Yeah, I kind of bumped it down to two. Because there's also, there's a lot of destruction in the stack, so I feel like, uh, two MST... Uh, 3 MST isn't that much. I'm actually thinking about like dropping it down to 1 so I can run like um, interrupted kaiju slumber, but but I don't have a kaiju slumber, so you get to stay at 2 for now, MST. And then you play uh, 1 Magic Planter. I'd actually like to get another one of those because Magic Planter works really well in this deck since there's a a lot of continuous traps in the deck, and also works really well with the Cobra Call of the Haunted Boy. They play uh, one advanced draw because we do play lots of level eights in this deck. Uh, Game of Steel, Dog and Ren are all level eights. Um, all the synchros are level eight. So yeah. Then we do play the uh, one terraforming because you. Oh, oops. Because you want to see Kyoto Waterfront as fast as possible in the stack. Although, which is weird, most of the time whenever I draw terraforming, I always have a Kyoto Waterfront in hand, so it's always just a dead draw, and it kind of annoys me, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, that was our spell lineup. Now onto our traps. We play Triple Split. This card um, basically makes the deck much faster. Because you, it's usually always an instant um, uh, dragon, but if you already have gone through both of your slimes, it's always an instant rank 3. Or it's always an instant, it's actually, it's almost always an instant dragon or level 8 synchro. Because if you have already drew into your slimes and they're all in the graveyard, you can just go like this, destroy uh, both the kaiju you, uh, not the kaiju, destroy both the greater you summon with this card, special summon out another. Level 3, uh, Gradle, bam. You just win. Because Dragon is obviously awesome. I play a double Parasite. Um, I only run 2. Sometimes I think about bumping it up to 3. But, no. But this card has saved me games. I think it was, uh, round 4. Yeah. I, usually, um, at the tournaments I go to, we only do like three or four rounds, but this time we did five, which was kind of fun. And we went into over uh, my my round four game went into time because I was facing um against Dragoonides. So basically, um, it was turn four. Um, my opponent had gotten rid of my Gradle card or my set Gradle card, so I with uh, an effect that I. I think it was an eagle and it got rid of it like with a spell so I couldn't do anything about it but then I'm like oh yeah because he didn't synchro in anything because he knew I probably had like a bottomless set or something so I, but he didn't know I had this set so what I did was I um activated this I summoned eagle because the highest attacking monster he had in his field was 12 he's like man I can't do anything he just ended my turn, it was turn 5, I ended my turn, and I actually just ended up winning. Which was awesome. It, although it's kind of funny because no one knew how this deck ran. So I was like, well I have like one of the biggest advantages in the game now. Because not a lot of people know how this deck runs. So I'm just like, alright. Because most people thought it was just like a straight up snatcher steal. Um, which card... Which monster killed the Gradle was the monster I took control of, but no one knew that I could actually take control of any monster I wanted. So yeah. So we play uh, Double Call of the Haunted. This card is really good in the deck, mainly because you can use it on the Kaijus. And um, the ability to do it with um, Cobra, Magic Planter, Send that to Grave, Destroy Cobra, Draw Two Cards, Cobra Equip, Take Control. It's always nice. Um, so yeah. 
play uh, one kaiju capture mission because it's another target for um, magic planter and also uh, this card is always a free pop too if your opponent doesn't want it so yeah it's always good to play um, one torrential reborn I knew I ran it before but I really forgot how awesome this card was because I think about because Usually, sometimes I think about um, citing this out for another Torrential Reborn, which is also in my side deck. But this card is awesome. It synergizes well with the deck. Because if you activate, like, Gradle Slimes to the ability to destroy, like, a dragon or something. Yeah. Um, dragon will special summon. Uh, you can use Slime to special summon another Gradle, and Dragon to special summon another Gradle. Then you can activate Torrential Reborn. Your opponent takes. I don't know. Uh, 500 damage because of the you special summon the dragon you destroyed. But you have a dragon and an instant access to another dragon and a level 3 um, Gradle. And this can all be done before you even normal summon. So you normal summon a Gradle, you have instant access to a rank 3. Do play the one Grand Horn. I really like Grand Horn. Grand Horn is awesome because um it saved me games quite a few times because i use this actually against um pepe i'm just like um all right so you pendulum summon like five all right grand horn uh draw your card um yeah i was actually facing off against a resonator a scarlet resonator deck it was really fun then i'm just like all right you summon scarlet i'm like no grand horn he's like crap so he draws his card, goes to a uh, battle phase, um, he had no monster, so he went straight to main phase 2. And it also ended up saving weave game as well. One warning, obviously, because warning is just an awesome card. Play um, one torrential, because torrential, because when you torrential tribute, then torrential reborn, your opponent has nothing and I have it, like all my stuff back. So it's amazing. Then one bottomless, because bottomless is just awesome. I'm kind of sad I can't run Rafflesia in the deck, but it happens. Now onto our side deck. Wow, this video is going on kind of long. We play the one Kamungus. Um, I don't really like main decking Kamungus, but uh, I would side deck him because he's another target. I just realized how slow Kamungus is, so I don't run him that much anymore. Uh, we play one extra slime just in case you really need it. I'm going to play Double Salvage, because Salvage is just a great card in this deck. i uh, play uh, One Shuffle Reborn. This card is actually really good. Say you have, like, no monsters and you have a slime in your graveyard. Alright, it's sweet. Shuffle Reborn. Normal summon level 3 with Griddle. Synchro. And for Dragon, um, the slime you sent, the slime isn't going to be banished during the end phase. So, yeah. Because it's no longer on field. We play one terraforming, cause, one extra terraforming, because, like I said, you want to see um, kill one front as fast as possible. An extra kaiju capture mission, just in case you need it. One torrential reborn. Like I said, I always think about saving in the main deck kaiju capture mission for another one of these, and I would really recommend it because this card is amazing in the deck. Now to the extra deck. Um, the extra deck is kind of standard. Uh, double dragon, because dragon is freaking awesome. I'll uh, play uh, one hot red dragon archfiend. I'd like to replace this for a scarlight. And I had a scarlight, I just don't know where it is. I think someone stole it, and I'm kind of sad. I would play uh, one crimson blader, because crimson blader is kind of mean against. Um, uh, Otta Ice Magician, because you just like, okay, sweet. Crimson Blader, get rid of your crap. Well, crap, I can't do any of my plays, because I can't summon any of my monsters next turn. And, uh, play one Stardust Spark Dragon. Because Stardust Spark Dragon is always nice. There's our Synchro lineup, down to our XYZ lineup. We do play the, uh, one Alsei. Um, I play this mainly because it was a rank 8, 
an extra rank 8 that I had because all my other good rank 8s are in my other decks. But, yeah. This card is still really nice. It's a... Um... It's not released for beat stick, probably because it has a huge ass. But it's, um... This effect down here... Um, mainly just to screw with uh, your opponent, get rid of some of their problematic monsters. So say you're... Wait, is it just a straight up monster? And alright, one card and... Yeah. So say, um, you make this card and your opponent just has vanities on board. Like, your opponent... Like, you have this card on board, then you're about to summon more cards, and your opponent's like, vanities. Well, shit. Can't do anything. So you're just like, alright, sweet. De uh, declare a card name. You can get it wrong if you want. Actually, you really want to try and get it wrong, but if it just declares declare something that's like not even in your deck, just say like um, declare BLS. You even run BLS? No. Top deck? Oh, it's not BLS. Um, send a grave, activate effect, detach. Um, bounce the vanity straight to the bottom of the deck. So yeah, it's nice. We play the one nightmare shark. Sometimes I think about putting this up to two, but one's nice. Play uh, one outlet card. Some. I always think about swapping it out for a grand pulse, and I can always just get one straight from my friend because he pulled like eight of them in his highest screen, uh, his wing raiders box. But I like Alucard. I've been trying to get Alucard for like ever now, and it's just so good. They play uh, two moves rhythm. The only reason we play two is because mainly if you can make two, um, you can always attack with uh, three thousand turn one <laughs> for each. So you're just like, all right, sweet, um, three thousand, three thousand. Oh, you can't do anything about it? Sucks. Play uh, one Mellow Melody, because... Awesome! With uh, two Moves Rhythm, you're just like, okay, sweet. Activate the effect, uh, target uh, Moves Rhythm. Attack with one Moves Rhythm. Detach, um, gains 5,000. Attack with the other Moves Rhythm. Detach, gains... Bit, uh, doubles its attack. Then you attack with the Moves Rhythm again. Detach, gains more attack. You're just like, well, crap. You play a one F zero utopic feature. It's kind of funny when I pull this out against other people. They're just like, "Oh, well, crap! I can't get over this right now." And I, I just like have turned to stall till I can get my cards that I need. Eh, what is that? Dirt? Get out of here, dirt! Not allowed to be on my cards. But yeah, this card is just a nice backup. You know, it's just go like, "Oh, well, shit." Uh, that's my deck profile on my Greater Kaiju. Sorry, this took a bit longer than usual. I'm kind of out of it. Yes, it is 10 o'clock in the morning, but it is spring break. Or it's around 10 o'clock in the morning for me. I don't know when this will be uploaded. It'll probably be like another hour or something. Half an hour. But yeah. Um, this deck is really fun. I'd highly recommend building it. Mainly because it's like super cheap, unless you want to throw in the extra money. Like, I kid you not, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber is 11 cents. It's super cheap. So, um, I really hope you build this deck. This deck is just super fun, actually. And nobody really expects it. You're just like, alright, sweet. Um, set one. Set two back row, they, your opponent attack into it. They're like, oh, it's a grail. They're just like, fuck, I have to deal with this deck? And I've actually had like three people scoop one time. It wasn't at this last tournament, but I had like three people scoop. Just like, alright, I'm not dealing with this deck. I am not dealing with this deck. Because it was just so annoying. And it was amazing. So yeah, um, have a good day, um, is that Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. I don't know, it's spring break, I don't pay attention. Anyway, um, have a good day, um, see you guys later, uh, give me suggestions on the deck, um, anyway, goodbye.